Riesendheim. Hello folks. We are back. We are at the Copley Mountain staging area. We are going to head down on Trail 3 over to the dam. And I am with Zendheim. I'm going to go in front. We'll see if he feels like going in front on the way back. Just want to get some footage of him on that beta. He's pretty stoked on it so far. He's going to have to sort out the suspensions. So it's really stiff. I had the same issue with the 450L at first. I ended up having to soften it all completely and then slightly stiffen it up from there to get it to feel comfortable. Even then I still had a still had a hard time where if it felt good on dirt, it didn't feel good on the street and vice versa. One thing I didn't like about that bike, I'm sure I could have dialed it in. It, it, I kept messing with it and knew what I was doing, but I didn't. Here comes the jump. Big fucking air. Oh yeah! Big air! Have a good one! Just gonna send it. Oh, he made it! Oh, thank you. I appreciate. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> he wanted to make sure we didn't get. Yeah, I've got one already. He wanted to make sure we didn't get lost. It was very thoughtful. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right, folks, we're leaving the dam. We're heading back the way we came on Trail 3. Then we're going to head home. We've got Zen Dime taking point. On a new bike, don't look new anymore. She's dirty. You didn't buy it to be a garage queen. That thing is awesome. It's just so well outfitted and set up from the factory. I mean, I won't be able to give a, a re proper review or comparison or anything until I ride it at some point. I'm not going to ask him to ride his brand new bike. Wait till I get some battle scars. But uh, I'm really impressed with just the look and the fit and feel. Things that come on at stock. It's only March 6th, 7th, and it's already dusty out here. And we just had a rain. It's a pretty light rain though. 
So hopefully you can actually see some footage of him and not just the dust. Let's see if he gets some air off here. The only thing I don't like the way that thing comes from the factory is the uh, that big old dust mud guard license plate bracket is enormous. The stock one on this KTM actually isn't bad. I'm going to leave it as is, but he's going to have to do something about his. I am eating his dust, literally. Time to ford the river. Like a champ. That was dicey. Dust is making it hard to see. Getting a workout, that's for sure. Oh, hell. Trying to take out my headlight. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, I'm right behind you. Like your butthole. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't. All right, your first impressions review. Let's have it. It's got a lot of power. It's uh, suspension is super stiff, but that needs to be adjusted. Um, it's comfortable as hell. Ergonomics fit me well. It was, it was a little too tall for me because I'm pretty short, but that seat basically solved all that. That uh, seat concepts, 5 8 inch lower. So if you're a short dude, 5 8, then definitely, definitely got to pick the seat up. That's mandatory. Um, so far, I really like everything about it, but it's only one ride. It handles really well. It's light. It's the biggest thing for me is the lightweight. This makes such a huge difference off road. It's definitely got the power of your typical off-road, I mean your typical track bike. It, feel, it feels just like it. I mean, I haven't rode my, I haven't rode a 450 in a long time, so maybe I'm thinking it's a little more. Yeah, you don't feel like you're giving up anything to have a plate and some lights. No, if you're, if 
He could always take them off if he wanted to. Yeah, if you want a dirt bike, you can ride on the street. It's definitely one. You can get flush mount turn signals. Get a tail tidy for that. You can do flush mount on these too. I'd wait until they break though. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave them as they are for now. I'm gonna do the eliminator on the back just because it's ridiculous. But yeah. Everything else I'm gonna keep. I even like the mirrors. Yeah, I'm, those, those mirrors, the fact they fold in like that is awesome. So I mentioned in my video just a couple of things I really like on this beta stock. These mirrors are one of them. They fold in. You usually have to pay extra for that kind of thing. It's got a battery tender already hooked up. Uh, it's already uncorked from the factory. The seat comes off super easy. Just press this button, the seat comes off. It's got the same pull-off air filter cover like the KTM does. It's got an LED headlight. You don't have to spend 100 bucks like I did to add that. Uh, yeah, this thing's dope. Has a factory skid plate. Comes with factory dirt ready tires already. I mean, really, you don't need to do anything to this bike other than get a seat, and that's true of every single bike. And the stock seat was so uncomfortable that I literally put 15 minutes on it and took, and took it off. Yeah, that's all of them. They, they feel like a 2x4. It's the worst. This thing even has traction control. If it's, uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a sunny and rainy symbol. So you can actually... It's like a power delivery. Yeah, it probably tames it a little bit if you're in slippery shit. Right now, I probably should have been riding nice, nice wide foot peg stock. This thing, it's already uncorked. So rather than coming corked like mine, which has a screen you have to punch out, the Beta comes uncorked and they provide you a screen if you want to put it in, which is how it should be. Give you the option to put it in, don't force you to punch it out. And once you punch this out, that's it. You have to drill into this and then take a punch and a hammer and like literally knock the thing out. My dealer actually, local dealer actually punches them out when they're still on the showroom floor. They said they're, that screen's useless. I'm leaving mine completely stock until I uncork it, but. Yeah, that's right. Yep, you get two front sprockets. My understanding is they're very easy to change. Yep. This thing's dope. Man, you you fucked it up already. It's all dirty. It looked nice. <laughs> so you gotta be careful on this off road with the front. Second around there, and you saw my ass end kick off the side. My, I, when I we came right up on that sharp turn to come up the hill, I almost lost mine right there, too. I love this dash. All these bikes should come with a Voyager Trail Tech dash because the stock dash and the rest of these bikes is dog shit in comparison. So, so this thing, too, it, it records where you were, and then you save, you save this route. So, like, now I can name that like Trail 3. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the camera, but it actually records the route you travel. Yeah, and then you can name it and then save it so you can actually like create trails on your own. Like we could save this ride because we took Mule Mountain. And we can name it whatever route. Mule Town. Mule Town Road, yeah. I called it Mule Mountain last time too. Mule Town Road. So I got to figure out, I'll mess with this and try to figure it out, but this thing has a lot of cool stuff. And it takes, I mean, it's got all of your... Uh, You've got the adjusters on top of the forks like the KTM, which is super convenient. Temperature analytics. Oh shit. So it tells you what you're it's a full on how hot you got. It looks like the graphing calculator I used in high school. <laughs> Can you play snake on it? Probably. It's got the uh altitude, uh GPS, hot damn navigation. That's so much better so much better than the stock dash these other bikes come with. Yeah, satellites tells you how many satellites you got active for your GPS. All of them should come with this. That's brilliant that beta did that. And then your your street speedometer. That's awesome. It's a pretty cool little thing. I'm gonna have to read up on it because I don't know how to do the track thing all the way, but I know that I saved our route today. I just gotta figure out how to keep it in there. You can also turn all that off. It's an awesome machine. Yeah, I don't think I do. Someday we'll do a comparison, we'll swap, and we'll we'll share our thoughts. Not until you get some battle scars on this thing though. But you still got a lot of fuel. You're right here. I'm good to go. That's where You I'm didn't go through hardly any. I think I, this is where I was when I before it was filled up. Yep, that looks like about before we left. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean we swapped. I don't mind. The only thing is your bike's so fucking tall. It's gonna fuck me up. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's even taller because the seat. But I'm so fat, even with a even with a stiffer shock spring, I still sink down a lot. With all my gear on my backpack alone, it's probably 20 pounds. So I have all my tools and shit in there. Isn't my chain's a little too loose. Uh, it could be. The way to test that, I actually I just bought a little chain adjuster tool that you just slide under there, and it has the perfect height. If you don't have that, the general rule of thumb is three fingers. You need to put it on the jack or a stand so the the rear wheel is completely free hanging, and then stick three fingers right underneath this piece right here. If you can get three fingers under there, it's probably it's just about right. Thanks. I know I got fucking grease all over my fingers. You could even you can just uh, pull it up on the on the kickstand. Yeah, it's just about right. I get, I'm just, I mean, it's slightly loose. I'm, I could get a little more than three fingers, so you could tighten it just a little bit. Cool, man. Yeah, it's nice. I really like it. It's fun. Let me wipe this on your shirt. Put it in my gooch. <laughs> I'll find a rock. Yeah, the only thing that I don't like so far is I'm not a fan of going beyond 55 on the I when I first started riding these kind of bikes in the street, they felt super sketchy to me. I hated it. Now that I've gotten used to it, I think they're kind of fun. I also have better tires though. Mine are like 50/50 tires, so mine probably feels a lot better on the street than yours does. I can I'm fairly comfortable leaning over. I don't get crazy. But yeah, those ones will start to feel you'll start to feel those knobs cutting loose. Yeah, I mean, it didn't help me out here. It's still, I mean, just because it's so dry. Yeah. There's no grip out here at all. No. The only fun part of that is you can twist a little bit and fishtail the back end around. As long as you don't dump it. I'm still learning how to do that. Sometimes I get my nuts right up on the tank, push down on that front, front tire so you don't lose traction there, and then just kind of whip the rear end around to steer. I believe it. That's the good thing. You read all that shit, man. You always supposed to punch up on that fucking tank. Not hugging it. All right. Well, good ride. It was fun. I go home and get my Elden Ring on. Whoa! You fucking idiot. God damn. That would have been really bad. <laughs>